All right, so this regular hexagon has a perimeter of 120, and since there are six sides, that means each side is 20. Um, I'm going to sketch it out. I'm going to make it just just uh, quick and easy. Okay, so each side is measures 20, so the whole perimeter will then be 120, as they gave us. And let's go from the center here and form one of these triangles. Even though my drawing is bad, um, remember these are equilateral triangles, so that's 60. And if we drop the apothem length down, we'd get up here a 30 and a right angle. Okay, That would also give us a length here. This length here would be 10. And since that's the short leg of a 30, 60, 90, the long leg, which is the apothem, would be 10 root 3. Great, because we now know, we, we already know our formula. Let me stick it in here in case you need to see it for this one. Area of a regular polygon. Area is 1 half the apothem length times the perimeter. So if we write that down, area equals 1 half the apothem length times the perimeter. And we know that the apothem length, because we just figured it out, is 10 root 3. And we know the perimeter, because they told us the perimeter, is 120. Okay, what's 1 half of 120? It's 60. So then 60 times 10 root 3. 60 times 10, 600. So 60 times 10 root 3, 600 root 3. What are the units? Meters. We found area, so it's meters squared. And they say leave it in simplest radical form. So we've got 600 root 3 meters squared, and that is answer C. Okay, that's the end of the videos. I hope uh, this all makes sense. If you have any questions or I made a mistake on any, please tell me as soon as possible so I can fix it so everyone is studying correctly and not studying my mistake and trying to figure out why they don't understand what's going on.